So Ben Fearson joined by John, the sexy Mexi Casaneda, and Justin Kratzky. Justin who? Kratzky, he used to be a fighter. He used to be. Yeah. So welcome, we're uh, welcoming the tallest fight on the card. We're a little bit scared of this fight in this building. Uh, this is uh, Adrian Harris coming out, uh, very green. Had a couple of fights, both of them in Iowa. He's from Fairmont, they kind of kind of train a, like a home type setup down there. They're trying to get something going down there. Uh, might have to send Kratzky down to help him out a couple of times, but good group of guys. Where does he train out of? Fairmont. Fairmont? Yeah. Okay. That's right next to Cato, isn't it? Uh, it's oh, like no, an hour. Hour, okay. Yeah. Huh, I'm gonna have to check them out a little bit. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, you better hope someone doesn't go for a power double in here. That's tonight. a big boy, though. Oh yeah. Well, we we talked to both guys, and they both agreed not to slam each other. I mean, that's as long as they don't elevate. I mean, because if they, have, you're gonna see Jared Lancon out here is six seven. Uh -huh. But he's an impact guy. Uh, Boy, they really love him in the gym, but it's, you know, he hasn't fought since 2010. He just did kind of a weird one down in Iowa, but he, uh, they love him in the gym, but like the coach said, they just, Troy Williams, uh, from Impact, like you just don't know until you get in the cage. You know, he certainly seems ready. Yeah, nobody ever quite realized just what it's like when you step in there for the first time until you actually do it. Right, and, and Kyle, uh, Kyle, Adrian Harris got thrown in with uh, Kyle Miracle. He's a, Monster heavyweight down in Iowa, just a cut off dude. Uh, he kind of got thrown to the wolves in his first fight. Won his last one. Uh, I'm interested to see him. He's, he's one of these guys that did everything right. He pumped the show off and sold some tickets. Uh, these two guys combined sold a lot, a lot of lots. Like Jared Lang, like I said, is from Austin, so this is at home for him. I know he'll be a little pressure on him to win, I'm sure. Well, it's always good, too, to get in front of your home crowd, especially for your first fight, too, because you get the sport behind you, and you never know what happens with the guys. Sometimes you get the nerves, people shut down once you get a little sport back there. Well, like I said, you can never, I always say, don't listen to teammates when you're trying to predict the fight, you know, because that's not who is in the cage all the time, you know. Exactly. I learned that one. I learned that when I was out. Uh, we'll let Greg do his thing here quick. Excited to see oh. these guys scrap. Always good when you get some more talent there. Nice, nice kick. Good leg kick back there. I am a fan of the kicks. Oh, take on the over here. So much for that slam. He didn't really elevate. I mean, well, that wasn't close, so I'm not too worried now. That's Adrian doing a good job staying heavy. Very nice. Uh, looks like he's working for that far arm, trying to isolate the for Americana lock. Oh, he might. Oh, oh I think he's got it. That arm I don't, neither of these guys wrestle. I think everything Adrian has learned about his wrestling, he learned from camera cards, so. Definitely. But Jared's doing a good job not letting him pass it over to the mount from yeah. side control, but he's gotta start defending these punches. He's got a little crucifix going on. I don't think he has that far arm. Push that left down and bounce, Adrian! Jared and just he can go ahead and start shrimping his hips in and start getting back to guard, start working his game a little bit more here. And he's listening to you. Adrian is doing a good job though, staying heavier right inside control. I don't think he has anything knocked out. Oh, there it is. he does pass. He does get the one here. He raises up. Big shots from full mount from Adrian. Now, I 
would say the longer this fight goes, I feel like Lang is probably going to be in better shape. We'll see uh, if, if he can survive this first round here. If he can weather the storm, you never oh, know. He's in trouble mean. right now. He's got that arm trapped. Oh, head and arm triangle. Yeah. He's got to lower, lower those hips. See if he knows to do it. There he is. Pretty good, uh, pretty good technique for a guy who's doing a lot of training at home. Bring his leg up more, so working that defense, get that space Jerry's doing a good job of answering the phone. I'll tell you what, that looks pretty deep, though. Might be it. He might be asleep. Yeah, I don't think he wants to tell. He's asleep. He's, He's out. asleep. He's been asleep for a long time. Wow. Ooh. Ryder failed to recognize it, I feel like. Yeah. Nice job by Adrian there. Yeah. Impressive really bringing the pressure. Like I said. Like Jared's still coming through there in the cage right uh, just now. Just getting up right now. I tell you what, like I said, for a guy who's pretty much trained, you know, they're kind of training on their own, uh, he did that perfectly. Yeah. He did. I was waiting for him to just sit there and never lower his hips. You know, you see a lot of amateurs do that. True, but you think at this point now and the way the game has evolved, a lot of people, there is a lot of knowledge out there that can be found even just going on YouTube videos. You can say. start learning techniques the proper way and you get some of those basics now and you can really start bringing your game up as long as you're practicing it right and doing it the right way in practice. Ladies and gentlemen, two minutes and 14 seconds in the round number one, your winner by triangle choke, Adrian.